Sarah Ferguson, 63, flew to the U.S. to meet £6 billion property magnate Trammell Crowe Jr., 72, after they became friends. The ponytailed environmental philanthropist is facing a lawsuit from two women who claim they were sexually abused by a ring he financed. It is another embarrassing episode for the Yorks following her ex-husband Prince Andrew's sex abuse settlement. Court documents obtained by The Sun show the two alleged victims sued Crow and alleged associates in California in November. The lawsuit claims the ring relied on doctors' prescriptions to keep the women drugged. And it says, Crow maintained what he called lingerie rooms in each property he owned in which he kept a variety of lingerie for female guests to wear, as well as what he called, stripper shoes. Crow will ask for the case to be dismissed at a hearing soon. His lawyer Ken C. Stone said the accusations were absurd and blatantly false. A spokesman for Fergie said, The Duchess has only met Mr. Crow once with others to discuss environmental issues. It is understood that she was unaware of the allegations and has no plans to work with Crow or meet him again. Ken C. Stone told The Sun in a statement, The story shared by the plaintiffs is upsetting and paints a picture of numerous troubled and broken domestic relationships. However, the account of events linking our client, and many others, to this story is both absurd and blatantly false. We are certain this will be made clear in future legal proceedings. Fergie's visits to Mr. Crow come as her ex-hubby Andrew, living with her once again, fears losing their £30 million Royal Lodge home in Windsor. The Duke has been offered the keys to nearby Frogmore Cottage after Harry and Meghan's post-coronation, frog exit, eviction. Andrew, 63, also fears having his £249,000 a year grant slashed by brother King Charles next month. 